A sweet holiday treat for the grown-ups, rum balls are that perfect blend between a cookie and a candy. This no-bake recipe is so easy, you'll want to make these all year round. Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode of Let's Celebrate TV. I'm your host, Peter Lee. On this channel, we teach you all about celebrating. We share recipes for food, hors d'oeuvres, cocktails, and we share entertaining tips too. Now we try and keep it all as simple as possible, especially for those of you out there who say that you just can't cook or entertain because we know that you really can. So if you like this episode, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell, and you'll get a new episode every single week. Today, our celebration, it's the holidays. They're here. So we're making a sweet treat for the grown-ups. We're going to make rum balls. Let's get started. I have a big bowl here and in it I have two and a half cups or about 270 grams of vanilla wafers. Now they're all ground up. What did I do? I put them in my food processor, ground them up really finely. Now if you don't have a food processor, you can do it the old fashioned way, put them in a Ziploc bag, bash them with a rolling pin or your meat mallet or something heavy like that, and you'll get the same effect. We're gonna start with this dry ingredients. So next, I have ground pecans. One cup, about 110 grams by weight. I did the same thing. I put them in my food processor and I ground them down pretty finely. And when you do that, Keep an eye on it. Don't go too far because then you'll get pecan butter, which is delicious, but that's not what we want. Right in the bowl. Next ingredient. This is confection sugar, also known as icing sugar. A whole cup or about 120, 130 grams by weight. Right in. Final dry ingredient is cocoa powder. Just two tablespoons. Now we're just going to mix this all together, get it well combined. There we are, pretty simple. Now let's put this aside for a moment. Get rid of this. Now our wet ingredients. I have another small bowl. You can't make rum balls without rum. Three ounces, 90 mils of spiced rum in our bowl. Next, corn syrup. This is the light kind of corn syrup. It's three tablespoons. Right in. A little bit of water, two tablespoons. And then finally, just a quarter teaspoon of vanilla. Now again, we just want to mix this up just to combine them pretty quickly. It kind of dissolves the corn syrup and helps it get all mixed together. Okay. Wet ingredients into the dry. Just like that. And now we're just going to mix this well to combine. I like doing this by hand. You could do it in the food processor if you wanted to. Now, if you don't like rum, you can change out the flavoring. You could use bourbon. You could use some other type of whiskey. You could even use red wine. Or, if you don't want the alcohol, you could use rum flavoring. Okay, this has all come together. It's ready to roll. So give me a moment and I'll show you how we're going to roll them into little rum balls. Now we are ready to roll. Now, you want to make these about a tablespoon or so. If you want to be consistent, use a little ice cream scoop. This is a small one. It's about a tablespoon. 
I like them a little larger. I like large balls. What can I say? Yeah, I said that. So I'm using the larger one. This is about a tablespoon and a half. This will give me consistent size. So very easy. Put it in, in the palm of your impeccably clean hands, and give it a little roll. Right on a little tray lined with parchment paper. I'll show you again how easy it is. Into your hand. Right there. Super simple. Now I'm going to go ahead and fill up this tray. Here we are. I made 12. I have enough. I could probably make another 12 of this same size. So now we need to make them pretty. We're going to coat them with some stuff. And now we are ready to decorate them. I have sprinkles, coconut, some more ground pecans. I have some confection sugar and some cocoa. So let's just start. How fun. Look at that. Now, in between the time when you make these and you get ready to roll them, if they look a little dry and things aren't sticking, you can just give them a little spritz of water or with more rum. Let's try some coconut. That's fun. Maybe some mixed nuts. You can coat these with anything that you like. Do some powdered sugar. That's the classic. And I like dipping them in the cocoa because now it looks like a truffle. How fun is that? You know what time it is now. It's time for the tasting. I'm going to have this one with coconut because that's my favorite. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. Mm-hmm. It's sweet. It's not overly sweet. The texture, you get the little ground nuts in there. It's kind of like if you had a cookie and a candy all at once. It's soft and luscious. It's rich. And let's not forget that rum. The rum and the chocolate. Wow. Now, I'm going to wash this down. We'll see you on Tuesdays for our regular episodes and Fridays for our basic skills or cocktail days. So I'm going to go eat some more rum balls. And while I do that, I want you to watch some of these videos over here. So until next time, cheers.